we I now invite Diego to come to speak. I mean, I mean, and you'll also get to hear Diego in in greater detail tomorrow, uh, where he does a, a presentation, and then Sulaima. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, nice work. So, um, many think that the rule of law is actually, is currently in a decline because autocracies are penetrating our societies and uh, somehow they are winning and they, uh, they do not believe that the, that the power should, should be limited. And the truth is that there are a lot of groups and a lot of ideologies that do not believe on the rule of law. They believe on the rule of force. They believe on the rule of ideology. They believe on the rule of a family. And that's true. That is a constant conflict between the rule of law and the rule of force. And that's part of our history. And this conflict will continue going on. But uh, it's my belief that only through the rule of law, we can promote peace, we can promote freedom, and we can promote human dignity. And this idea or this view of the rule of law is, is really universal. I'm really happy to be here in Lahore, in a very different country where I come from. I'm from Spain. I'm from a different, totally different culture. But I, but I think this is universal value. And uh, a rule of law, in order to be so, it needs to be anthropocentric. And what does, what does anthropocentric mean? It means that it has to be based on human dignity. Because if we don't, if, just, uh, it's just a, if it is just a formal set of rules, not based in, in human dignity, we are not really under the rule of law. We are under a different regime. Uh, during the, the opening, I was a reading one of the quotes that it was on the, at the panel that the, was mentioned by Asma Jahangir, the person we are celebrating here. And it said, democracy is not just about election. It is about the protection of human rights. And I totally agree with that because maybe this, be, this could be controversial. But if I had to choose between electing the government and having uh, human rights, I would prefer to live under human rights. I didn't have the chance to, to meet the, the person, the hero we are celebrating today, but it was mentioned, uh, Justice, during the opening, was mentioned that he was some sort of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, a justice of the Supreme Court. And I totally agree that if the asthma had been born in the United States, there would be films and there would be documentaries about her, just as Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. I didn't, meet, I didn't meet Asma, but I have to say I met personally Ruth Bader Ginsburg, the Justice of the Supreme Court. It was at the, in Washington at the American Bar Association. And I had the opportunity to have dinner with her, and more people, of course, at the very famous hotel for a wide different reasons, that is the Watergate Hotel. And uh, during the conversation, he said exactly something very similar. We were talking about the rule of law, the rule of law, and he said, well, stop a second. He was very kind, but very, very brave at the same time. Stop a second about talking about rule of law. If it's not based on human dignity, we are not under the rule of law. And that really uh, had a great impact on, on myself. And uh, I preach about it all the time. And I think also Asma Jahangir will think something, something similar. Because this rule of law, anthropocentric and universal, is my belief is one of the greatest achievement of humankind. Truly, I believe that. And uh, we, should, we, should, uh, ha we should have to come back to the Greek, to the Romans, but also here, to Lahore, a very famous city and with more than 2,000 years of history. And, and what does the rule of law need? Because uh, at least in my view, 
sometimes we can incur in the, in the mistake of being very elite and only for academics. And some people were referring before, no? Common people may not really understand what are we talking about. And that's why we need heroes. And we need great storytellings. And here we have a, a woman that has a great storytelling, a great hero. And that's why we are here. I'm on behalf of the World Jurist Association, came from Madrid yesterday only to celebrate this hero and also to make awareness, not only in your country, that I think uh, looking at so many people that came here these days does not need to make further awareness. But we should make a further awareness of her legacy throughout the world. And uh, we are really looking forward to do that with you guys and that the, her story is known worldwide. Thank you. Um, okay. Well, uh, bearing in mind just that the, that's the uh, as I said before, uh, in my view, rule of law is a universal value. It's not only a Western issue. It's not only something from the United States, from the from England, or from the European Union. I might totally understand that it's worldwide and any anywhere where there is a human being, rule of law, it's, it's it should be defended and should be promoted. Um, as Earl, Earl Warren, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, said during the first World Law Congress of the World Jurist Association in Athens in, in 1963, and I'm going to quote, there is still hope that humanity will live in peace and freedom if, and only if, we all accept a world ruled by laws, not by force, ideology, a party, or an autocrat. That world is still achievable and requests our faith, work, and loyal commitment. This extraordinary man uh, said these words in, a, in the first World of Congress during the Cold War years, where two systems were not only confronting politically or internationally, total annihilation on hum, of humankind was a possibility. Well, it, as a matter of fact, it was the year of the Cuban Missile Crisis, where humans were really, really close to be to totally annihilated from the air. So I think this quote is extremely important to, this is an important message, message I wanted to share with you about, about the uh, rule of law. And, and focusing now on the, on the judiciary, all, one of the themes we are discussing here, in my view, judges are the weakest power of any system of any architectural system. Why? Because, and we have a lot of, a lot of them here, a lot of times they, they, are, they are really alone and they, 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 they suffer a lot of pressure from political parties, from wealthy companies, and from a wide, a wide variety of groups that what they really believe is underneath is that the power should not be limited. Who is a law to limit the to limit real power. And that's why sometimes they actually don't like independent judges. And it's my belief that any architectural, any institutional architecture should really focus on that, of protecting the independence of judges. Not only here in Lahore, but also in Washington, in Brussels, in Madrid, in El Cairo, in Nairobi, anywhere. They need, they need us, they need, the, they need protection. And um, coming back to also to the rule of law, and it's, it's basically, I understand that this is really the last tool that the weakest, the poorest people of any society have, the possibility to go to a judge and to ask that their rights, can, their rights can be respected. They can be implemented, irrespectively of who is infringing that right. And yes, uh, our last World of Congress of the World Jurist Association took place in the, at the United Nations in New York. And I was walking around after a very, very strong work, like the guys you are here, uh, focus on the organization. I want to thank you all for your work. And after being at the United Nations with so many leaders, politicians from all over the world, I was walking around really exhausted for the, for the, for the, for the, for the, for the Congress. 
and I came right next to the uh, Supreme, New York Supreme Court. And there was a scription in this 150 years old building that, that said, the true administration of justice is the firmest pillar of good government. And I really, it really struck me because you may have a good economy, you may have good infrastructure, you may have other things, but if you don't have really a, 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 an independent judges, if you don't have a true justice administration, you will never have a good government and without a good government, common life is extremely difficult and painful. So thank you very much everybody.